just about set to kick off here, and it's not a home game for either of these teams. This coin toss presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. The kicker's got the ball set up, and we're ready to get this thing started. He sends this one deep. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. The Bulldogs have got a guy at quarterback that is a true leader. We found that out this week talking to him. We sure did, Brad. It was interesting this week, and as you and I prepared for this game, finding out that he called a players-only meeting without any of the coaches just to get this team focused and let them understand what it takes to go on the road and to win this kind of game. And when you have that kind of leadership, you got a real chance to be able to go on the road and win. What a pretty pass play. This is just a simple play-action pass. The defense here bid on the fake just enough, allowing the quarterback to find an open target, and the result is a big gainer. From the 49-yard line, it's first down. Big hit, he stopped in his tracks. They just took what the defense gave him on that play. Yeah, you're right. That was a good job of getting that pass completed for positive yardage. And he's taken down around the 43-yard line. Well, I think it's safe to say the defense had his number on that one. It can be very frustrating for a running back when he stopped before he even gets going. They're about four yards away here on third down. Now he's scrambling. They bring him down. The defenders played the snap count perfectly. He found the path into the backfield and didn't let the quarterback get away. He's going to try to cough and corner this one. It's away, and it's a booming punt. Touch Little too much leg into that punt. They'll bring it out to the 20. Now the offense gets ready to take their first crack at it. made around the 30-yard line. Maybe after a nice run like that, you try to go up in the air for the play-action pass. From their own 30-yard line. First down. And he's tackled at about the 31. Call it a gain of one yard. That brings up second and nine. Straight up the middle, and he'll lose yardage. Third and nine. Ball on the 31-yard line. He's going to air it long. That close to being intercepted. Quick thinking there. You know, they're liable to put the ball in the air on third, so it's a smart play to keep your hands ready. They've got 10 guys up. It looks like they're going to try to block this one. And down he goes. It's the 33-yard line. This is a fun game, and I think we're going to see a lot of interesting football before it's over. Tackled at the 31, so they end up with a loss after calling the draw. He started out rushing the passer and then just got lucky and ran right into the running back on the draw. From their own 31-yard line, it's second down. They're 
Throws it to the halfback on the screen. And down he goes at the 32-yard line. Gain of one on the play. That brings up third and three. Trying to set up a little screen, gets it to his tailback. He gets hit out of bounds at the 44-yard line. Well, as you just saw right there, the screen pass can be a very effective weapon for an offense, especially when they're disciplined and when the receivers are patient. It's first and 10. Ball on their own 44. He gets rid of this one. Gets to about the 47-yard line. Gain of three on the play. That'll bring up third and six. So we're looking at another third down here. Run play and he'll lose yards. Gets it away, and this is a really nice punt. Touchback. This punt goes over the goal line, and this will be a touchback. And so far, it's been totally even. In close games like this, every possession is likely to matter. Second from their own 20-yard line. It's second down. Black five, black five. He's taken down around the 28-yard line. Call it a gain of eight yards. That'll bring up third and two. Nice play across the middle. Brought down around the 46-yard line. Getting the ball to your tight end and allowing him to make plays in the passing game can really open things up on the outside for your real speedsters. From their own 46-yard line, first down. And he makes it out to about the 47-yard line. That makes it second and ten. at the 37. I credit the quarterback on that pass. He made a great read and delivered a very nice pass for the first down. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 37-yard line. Nice run up the middle. So at the end of one, no score here. That makes it second and six. Set to resume action here in the second quarter, and we've got a tight ball game. They'll bring him down at the 20. Besides going deep on the fade, the slant route is probably the most commonly run route against man coverage. If the receiver gets a good inside release, it'll be a new set of downs every time. They'll spread the field here. Let's see what the defense does with a five wide outlook. Quick out to his receiver. Touchdown tied. Did that 
play ever developed nicely. Well, it's all about the receiver on this play. He beat his man off the line and then ran a perfect route. All he had to do after that was make the catch. And he converts the extra point. An eight-play, 79-yard drive. And the result, seven points. Alabama is ready to kick it away. Sends it sailing downfield. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. In a game that's this close, you can't afford to waste possessions. Slings it. And they make the stop at the 38. I'm really liking what I see from this guy. He's not afraid to go to the air on any down. From their own 38-yard line, it's first down. Hand off up the middle. They'll drop in for a loss. to the tight end and that ball's incomplete. Pretty good effort here by the quarterback of trying to squeeze that ball into a tight spot. I know it was incomplete, but he didn't have too many other options. Third down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 37-yard line. Quick throw. And he's taken down the 37-yard line. Man, the defense jumped all over that one. No chance to pick up the first down there. The defense has everybody on the line. I think they're going to come after this one. They'll bring him down at the 33. Momentum swings have been fairly even. And with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. Alabama is up by a touchdown. Makes it out to about the 43. So it's second down, and they're only about a foot away from picking up the first down. Gets to about the 44-yard line. And he just gets rid of it. Good job here by the defense. If you let this quarterback set and throw, he'll kill you all game. But they got excellent pressure on that play. It's second and 10. Ball on the 44-yard line. Looks for his tight end over the middle. Tackle made at the 44. It's a nice job here by the wide receiver of looking the ball in and keeping the chains moving. He was on the same page as his quarterback as they both saw the double outside linebacker blitz coming. And he is drilled at the 49-yard line. Coaches don't like it when their quarterback gets hit like that. Don't be surprised to see the old coach get on his lineman to protect the quarterback a little bit better. They find themselves in a hole here after that sack. It's second and long. Mike 55, Mike 55. E, 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 E. Red 2. Fires quickly, and he's got his man. And he's tackled around the 36-yard line. Alabama up seven points. They got to him, and he did not get the first down. That's good for a game of one yard. It's fourth down, and the offense is getting set to go for it. Two down, two down. Hey, check one, check one. And 
it's caught. He's tackled at about the 25-yard line. Good job by the offensive line to pick up the linebacker on the blitz. That gave the quarterback enough time to find his man for a nice game. This is the ninth play of this drive. Pulls down the catch, and he's got room here. Game three yards. That'll make it second and seven. It's second and seven. Ball on the 22. That's a great tackle at the 10. Superb effort by the receiver to come down with that ball. Well, this comes down to the timing between the quarterback and the receiver, and the result, again, a nice play for the offense. This is the 11th play of this drive. And it's caught, and he's brought down quickly. Alabama is going to have to use their second time out of the half. It's second and five here. Ball on the six-yard line. Mark 55! Mark 55! And he shoved out of bounds at about the three-yard line. Thirteenth play of the drive coming up. In the shotgun and five wide out. He gets rid of this one. Fourth down. They'll line up for the field goal, and this is nothing more than a chip shot. Alabama is hoping to make this a two-score game. Kicks up, and it sails through the uprights. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. Excellent kick. And he's tackled at the 28. Well, it's always fun to be part of a defensive battle, and that's certainly what we have right now. Yeah, give credit to both of these defenses. I mean, they, they're playing with a lot of energy, and I think they're doing a nice job up front at the line of scrimmage. And at this point, they're not giving this either of these offenses a chance to make a play. Let's see if this drive has a more rewarding conclusion than their last, which ended with a punt. Makes the catch, and look out. And down he goes, around the 42-yard line. The tight end picks up a lot of yardage on that one. The big guy isn't the fastest out there, but he sure is a load to bring down. From the 42-yard line, first down. out quickly to the tailback and they hit him in the backfield the Bulldogs will use their first time out of the half he's out of bounds right around the 34 so it's third down and they've got about two yards to go After a decent pickup, Georgia will take a timeout. That's their second of the half. He's got it with room to run. Big play there, and now they're looking at first and goal. Guys, I really like what the offensive coordinator is doing here. Throwing it on first and second down to keep the defense guessing. Taken down just outside the goal line. Now he's scrambling. Keeps it, and he's got a touchdown. Great job of finding the space to run and just bursting in for six. Here's the extra point to get within a field goal. And he hits the PAT. 
A seven play, 72 yard drive, and it's good for seven points. It's an amazing drive for this offense. Outstanding execution. If you're the defense, you've got to do something to try to change things up to get this quarterback out of sync. So our score, 10 7. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. In a game that's this close, you can't afford to waste possessions. Alabama holds a field goal lead. Fires out to his receiver. Brought down at the 39. The offense going to try to open this field up, coming out in a five-wide set. And the defense counters with their dime look. Quick strike to the receiver. And he tackles him hard at the 50-yard line. They spread the field in the gun with five wide receivers. Caught out of the open. You know what? After a play like that, I wouldn't be the least bit surprised if they went to the air again. Got a man. Watch out here. Tackle right around the 32-yard line. A tight first half of football, and we head to the break. 10-7, Alabama. We've played 30 minutes. Glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. David Pollock and I here in the studio to break down everything that just happened in your game. Perhaps the most important statistic in any football game is turnover margin. I once had a wise coach tell me that the football was so important they named the game after it whatever that means. I think it means that you're not supposed to let it get away from you and give it to the other team. And so far, both of these offenses have done a great job of that. No doubt. And most games are lost, not won. And it's because of the turnover differential. And you can look at the stats when you say that every single time. But, you know, both teams doing a good job taking care of it. Both offenses executing and still calling a game, still, still scoring points, still putting up good numbers but at the same time taking care of the pigskin. And they better value that thing because, yeah, you give it away and bad things happen. Looking forward to seeing this second half. I think there's certainly a want for victory. A want and a need for victory. Some teams need this victory, Reese Davis. Want, need, got to go get it either way. Brad and Kirk are there to deliver. Great first half and a tight ball game, and we're set to start quarter number three. He sends this one deep. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. They'll take over here, ready to start a new series. Alabama is up by three. Gets to about the 27-yard line. That's a gain of two on the play. That makes it second and eight. Second and eight. Ball on the 27-yard line. They'll bring him down at the 35. to that quickly and they finally push him out at the 36 and that play could have gone for six. Oh boy you're right and all week long this secondary did a lot of talking about how they were going to dominate these receivers I think this is time that they step up and prove it on the field forget about talking trash let's see how they react after giving up that big play first down 10 yards to go ball on the 36 yard line Throw to the tight end and in and out of his hands. Number 84, the intended receiver on the play. Third down now, and they need to get it to the 26. 
Mike 55, Mike 55. Go, go, go. Go. E -D -D. Green 15. And a quick throw. And he's leveled at the 33 yard line. Number five tackles him for a loss at the 33 yard line. That makes it fourth and eight. It's fourth down. They'll call on the field goal unit. Alabama is up a field goal. He gets it up, and he just drilled it from long range. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. This deficit can be easily overcome, sure. But they have to be thinking if they don't get something going on this series, the burden is going to be felt by their defense. Goes right, picked off. And they make the stop at the 30-yard line. Personal foul. Placement, defense. That penalty will move them back a bit. Yeah, with so many young guys out there, it's bound to happen occasionally. It's first and 10. Ball on the 16-yard line. They go with the screen here, and the halfback's got it. A couple of yards that time on the screen. That's good for a gain of two yards. That makes it second and eight. From the 14-yard line, it's second down. They come out on an empty backfield. Huge play, and it's going to be first and goal. Alabama up six. Touchdown time. That was a very good all-around effort. The running, the blocking, the entire package. A well-deserved score. Battle of wills down there in the pits, and that time the offense won. And he adds the extra point. Looks like they're ready for the kick. Sends it sailing downfield. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. There's got to be some sense of urgency to this offense right now. They don't have the luxury of wasting drives if they want to get back in the game. Second down, 10 to go. Ball on the 25-yard line. Taken down at about the 23-yard line. it away and this is a really nice punt he makes it out to maybe the 46 yard line 
The offense ready for the first play of this drive. They moved the ball extremely well on their last possession on their way to the end zone. So much of the passing game is about the timing between the quarterback and his wide receivers. Right now with this offense, they are in sync, and really the timing and execution is flawless. That brings up second and 13. It's second and 13. Ball on the 43-yard line. And he's tackled right around the 40. First and 10, ball on the 40. Complete, he's got room. Tackle made at the 15 yard line. We've got a first and 10. Ball on the 15. Pulls it in, and he's in the open field. He's tackled around the seven-yard line. That makes it second and two. Sets up a screen. Tailback's got it, and down he goes at the six. Short yardage situation here. It's third and one. They'll work the left. He's taken down around the three yard line. That makes it first and goal. for the score. Yep, he punched that in from a short distance. He had great blocking up front on that play. And he converts the extra point. They line up to kick this one away. And he got all of this one. Great kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Georgia's getting stomped right now. They're unable to get anything going here in the third quarter. Well, I think what they have to do at this point is they've got to get into a little bit more of a hurry-up mode, a little bit more urgency, score, and hope that the defense can come up with a stop and hope you can get the ball back and put more points here. He's got it out to his tight end. Brought down right around the 38-yard line. First and 10. Ball on the 38. Got a man in and out of his hands. That was textbook coverage by the defense. That's exactly what you want to do on every single pass play. But it doesn't always happen. Makes the catch and gets out of bounds. That's a game of 23 on the play. First down. From the 39-yard line, let's go, let's go. it's first down. Quick, 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 quick. That's three down and one to go. Alabama's in front by 20.
back in this very pivotal fourth quarter. Complete, brought down, nothing doing. Number six makes the tackle at the 39 yard line. That'll bring up second and 11. Second and 11 coming up now. Ball on the 39 yard line. He's under pressure. Well, I love the toughness here by this quarterback of sitting in until the last second, trying to make a play downfield, only to have this defense get to him. He's got to do a better job maybe feeling things out a little bit, but at least he has the awareness and a toughness to sit in that pocket. Screen pass. He's got his halfback. And he is drilled at the 28-yard line. Gain of 11 yards. That makes it first and 10. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 28-yard line. Ready! Red 68! Red 68! Catches it, and that's all. Well-designed route and a confidently thrown football by the quarterback. You need those things to make any offense work. And this is the eighth play of the drive. He gets rid of this one. You know, when you feel pressure like that, the worst thing you want to do is just to throw the ball into coverage. He got away with one right there. He's very fortunate. Next time, he should just throw it away out of bounds. Throws it to the outside. And they intercept it. The junior safety. Number two makes the interception. He didn't throw it away under pressure, and it really cost him. It sure did. He saw that he was going to get hit and just threw one up for grabs. He's got to learn to take the sack. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on their own 11. Gains his way to the 20-yard line. Brings up second and one. Come on tight, double tight. Come on tight. Three down, three down. Mike, three nine, three, three nine. nine. Get the dog. Seven, red, red. Come on. Ah, ah. Quick throw, tackle at the 23 yard line. From their own 23 yard line. First down. Less than three minutes in the game. And they get nice yardage on that run. again. Gains his way to the 39-yard line. It's first and 10. Ball on the 39. The reason why it's so crucial to be able to run effectively like this is it keeps the defense guessing. They have no idea whether you're passing or running, even if you need medium to long range yards. Decent run here, right side. That's good for a gain of five yards. That brings up. Here's the eighth play of the series.
This one's all but wrapped up with the final score, 27 to 7, Alabama. And the Georgia Bulldogs. That brings this broadcast to a close. For EA Sports and Kirk Herb Street, I'm Brad Nessler. We'll see you soon for another edition of NCAA Football 14.